What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. We are back. I know we said this last video, but we took a little hiatus. Um, Jackson came down with that little, you know, virus that's been going around, and he was uh, nice enough to spread it around to the family. So, yeah. We've been kind of dealing with that for a little while, but we are back better than ever. We're ready to start doing videos again. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe to see all future LEGO content? And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch. It's very much appreciated. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a genre of set that we have never done before. You'll have to let us know if there's something that you'd like to see more of. Today, we're doing a review on a set that I actually bought to do a rebrickable modular version of. So I didn't buy it for this set but we decided to build it as the set comes and review it just for fun to see what you guys think and see what we thought of the set, see if it's something that we like to do more of in the future. Um, but the intention was to buy it and do the rebrickable version, which is the gas station, which I will show you a picture of on the screen right now. The gas station looks pretty awesome. It's a corner uh, building that we could integrate into our city. I think it looks pretty good. Um, of course, we do have the gas station with the corner garage, but I thought this one we could put in a different spot in our, our city. It also has like an Asian restaurant, and I think it just looks really clean and really nice. So I'm excited to build that. Uh, but for today, we are reviewing the Monkey Kids City of Lanterns. Jackson, what's this box say? Well, it's, it's nine plus. The item number is 80036, zero, 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 and it is two, 2,187 pieces. Yeah, it comes with a whole host of minifigures. Um, I don't know much about Monkey Kid. I don't know anything about Monkey Kid, really. Uh, is it a cartoon? Yeah. Is that what it is? Cartoon. I've never seen it before. I don't know what it is. Um, when I look at this box, it just looks like a big jumbled mess. Like, there's just so much going on, and there's so much going on in this set that it is very confusing to me. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely colorful. It definitely just has a whole lot going on. You know, you got like a pig flying around up here. You got this guy like flying through the air. You got a dragon coming off this building. Some random lobster <laughs> over here. I mean, there's just so many different things um, going on with this set. And the box is just, it's crazy. What? So obviously if you've seen the, the cartoon, you're probably much more familiar with all this stuff. But for someone that's not familiar with the cartoon, it seems just very strange, <laughs> very crazy. I need to start watching Lemon Kid again. Okay. <laughs> on the back of the box, uh, it does show you the back of the set. So it's a whole bunch of little like modular sections that you built and then added to it. Each one is like a different room or building or something, like a different theme. Um, and then it has a little train that kind of goes around the outside. Um, like uh, over here, it shows you how it all kind of comes apart in the little individual buildings. I assume that you can kind of take it apart and play with those individually if you want or take it and play with it as a whole. Um, and then it shows you just some of the uh, the setups here with the minifigures. It does come with uh, a lot of very unique minifigures, which is nice. Um, but as far as the box go, that is the gist of it. Let's go ahead and check out the instruction book. It's very nice. The instruction book came in this nice little couch here, which keeps it protected. Uh, one thing to mention, there was a lot of stickers. There's three sticker sheets in this set. <laughs> stickers everywhere. Lot. It was a lot. Um, but there are actually two instruction books. Instruction books. So you have part one and part two. Both are quite long. Um, this one is like 180 pages, 188 pages, something like that. This one, okay. Um, this book is 187 pages. Yeah, so they're almost exactly the same length. Um, it does give you the little progress bar along the bottom with little monkey kid there running along. Um, there was actually surprisingly a lot of technic with this yeah. one. Uh, more than I would have expected, uh, but yeah, it, uh, it went together pretty good. There's nothing uh, additional in the front of either of these books, um, nothing really in the back. Uh, pretty standard, straightforward build. Um, has kind of that yellowish background, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it went together pretty easily. Jackson built the first half and I built the second, yeah. so we kind of shared in on this one. Um, it was fun to build. I can't yeah. really complain. I thought it was entertaining. It was just really, really strange. But yeah, those are the instruction books. Let's go ahead and check out the set. All right, so here it is, the Monkey Kid City of Lanterns, all completed. Um, let's first check out the minifigures. So it does come with nine minifigures, I believe. Uh, first off, we'll start with these robots. I'm not gonna call them by the proper names because uh, I don't know what they are, <laughs> but I'll describe them. Uh, so we got two robots. They're actually pretty much identical. Just one has a pink hat, the other has a green hat. Uh, kind of cool little robots. I guess you would consider these minifigures, even though they're technically not. They're like brick-built uh, robots. Um, but yeah, we'll count them as minifigures. Why not? They're kind of cool, just little robots. 
Um, you got this guy right here. He's got some chopsticks. He's eating some food out of this bowl. He's got a nice scarf, um, glasses. Most of these uh, heads are double-sided, but we're not going to show you both sides. Um, he's got some nice printing there with uh, some food and chopsticks there on his shirt. And then some printing on the back as well, which is nice. Um, here we oh, just dropped his food. Uh, here we have this lady. Um, so she does have the double-sided face as well. She's got like, I don't know what that is, like a Lego set or something. Looks like a Lego bag in her hand. Yeah, it's a Lego bag. Um, she's got some nice printing uh, with the uh, button-up shirt and then the lightning bolt on the t-shirt and then printing on the back as well. Uh, just a nice little minifigure. These all seem very generic to me. I don't know if these are characters on the show. They are. I assume they would be. Um, you have this lady. She's got some nice printing with the uh, jacket that's opened up with the purse uh, printing on the back as well, which is cool. Uh, she's holding a phone. Got a nice little hair piece there with the green uh, accents on it. Um, next up, we have this lady. Uh, she's holding like this lantern. Uh, nice printing there on the chest. Uh, nothing really on the back. Um, cool hair piece. Uh, just kind of generic. I've uh, got this guy. He's pretty cool. He's a pig. Pigsy. Pigsy, is that his name? Yeah. Uh, he's a chef, I assume. He's got the chef hat. He's got some binoculars and a, and a uh, megaphone. Uh, looks like he's got some food all over his shirt, kind of messy. And he's got this cool little backpack that's loaded with uh, pots and pans and uh, looks like some different sauces or something for him to cook uh, different varieties of food. But cool little pig uh, mold there for the head. Uh, nice minifigure. Uh, the pig also came with this little guy that he can fly in, I guess. This is what you saw in the front of the box. He's flying in this little, like, hot air balloon contraption thing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, next up you have, is this uh, Monkey Kid? Yeah, it's Monkey Kid. All right, this is Monkey Kid. So he's got the staff that attaches to his back. Uh, very nice printing there on the chest. Got a little, like, fanny pack there going across his shoulder. He's holding something there in his hand as well as uh, looks like a map or something. Uh, but yeah, he's got a cool little face printing, nice hair piece there with the headband. Pretty cool. I like that. Nice and detailed. Uh, you got this guy here. What was he, like the train conductor or something yeah, like that? Train, so yeah. he runs the train. Uh, just nice printing there on the chest and back. Um, kind of a suit and tie going on. Uh, nice little hat there as well. And then finally, oh, this isn't a minifig. <laughs> it comes with this little scooter here, which is like just a little... Uh, accessory that it kind of comes with for someone to ride on i assume so those are the gist of the accessories and minifigures uh very nice set uh like i said kind of generic if you're not used to the show you're not going to really recognize them but uh if you watch the show i'd assume they're pretty cool all right so here is the monkey kid set like i said there's just so much going on here i don't think we're going to be able to cover everything because there's it's just there's stuff everywhere um <clears throat> some of the cooler features obviously it has this little train track that goes around and this uh, kind of like a monorail train going on uh, with the little pigs on it. Uh, it does go all the way around the outside, which is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, each of these is like a modular building that kind of comes off. So like up here, this one was one of my favorites is a little Lego store. It actually comes off. Um, so you can see it has a little Lego bricks on the top, the Lego sign there above the door, has a dragon that kind of goes around the building. On the inside, there's actually a pick a brick wall as well as a variety of Lego sets that are on the wall. And some of them you may recognize. There's like a pirate ship. There's the spaceship that uh, is just about to be released on August 1st. Um, there's a few others. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. A little Lego store. But each of these individual uh, buildings actually comes off so you can play with them separately or you can play with it all together, however you'd like. Uh, you got a little panda store over here. This was like a little hotel and it has like a, a bed and stuff inside. Um, this one, I can't remember what this one was, like a restaurant, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's like a, yeah, it's like a Over restaurant. here, there's a little place where you can buy like some bubble tea, like some drinks. Um, over here, what was this one, Jackson? Huh? Like karaoke or something? This one? There's like some microphones or something oh, in yeah. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it's like a karaoke, you got a little microphone set up over here. Um, you got some stairs that go up to the train station, I assume. Lots of signage all over the place and lanterns hanging. What was this thing over here? Like a uh, game or something? I don't know. This was like, I didn't really get what that was. I was like, is this a secret base? Not really sure. Up here you have like another place to sit and eat with the little lobster. Um, cool little lobster. Some food there in a dish and you can sit there and enjoy your meal, I guess. Uh, but yeah, just stuff all over the place. You got a sign right here that has like a monkey and uh, some chopsticks and some type of a meal. Um, little brick built panda face up here. Nice little flower. There were some very cool building techniques. Like I said, it there was a nice combination of brick built and Technic um, to build this. Um, so yeah, it was a very interesting build. There's a lot of variety. It didn't really get repetitive or old. Um, but yeah, it was, it was fun to build. I can't complain about that. Uh, we'll turn around to the back now. You can see the train goes all the way around the back. Um, on the inside here, you can see 
Uh, this is like a, what was this, like a panda shop or something? I'm not yeah, even it's sure. A panda shop. Um, you have the little hotel here. You see the bed and a lamp. And a lamp. Um, here's where you would check in and put your luggage. Um, again, you have the Lego shop. Uh, back here, you have the restaurant. You can kind of barely see it in there, but uh, there's a restaurant, the bubble tea, um, and another place where you just kind of buy food. Here's where you get your scooter from. So just stuff all over the place. Like I said, tons and tons of detail. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I assume there's a lot of playability involved with this, especially like I said, if you're if you're uh, familiar with Monkey Kid um, and the cartoon and the characters, there's a ton of playability. There are tons of things that you can do with this. Uh, like I said, you can take off the individual buildings and play with them individually. You could actually make quite a large layout if you pulled them all off. Um, like even this big one here comes out like this. Um, so you can play with that individually if you want, and then you can play with this. Um, there's a million different ways that you could really enjoy this setup if you wanted to. All right, Jackson, the Monkey Kid City of Lanterns. What do you like about this one? Well, I, I really like all the detail because like this is just packed with detail because like it's just like so much uh, going on. So like- you It's can... almost overwhelming. Like it's almost too much. It's like sensory overload looking yeah, at this stuff. Yeah, it hurts my head. <laughs> to try to take it all in, it's it, like just it too much. It gives me a headache. There's just stuff everywhere. And it's just flying everywhere. It's just it's it's very uh, chaotic to me. But yeah, and um, uh, just a lot of playable features in this. Um, it's a ton of fun. Like I said, if you like Monkey Kid, you are gonna have a lot of fun with this set. It's obviously targeted more towards a younger crowd. I think people that like the cartoon. Um, this isn't something that I think a whole lot of adults are gonna be um, drawn to. Uh, but like I said, I bought this one to do the brickwall building. Um, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. Um, it's still a little bit debatable whether or not Jackson's going to allow me to take this one apart or if I'm going to have to buy another one <laughs> to build that at this point. Um, but I think Jackson likes this one. I think he enjoys it. I think I could see him playing with it and spending some time playing with it. Anything that you don't like about it, Jackson? Um, there's two things that I don't really like about it. One is there's way too many stickers. Yeah. Way too many. I didn't count how many stickers, there's three sheets full, and there are large stickers, there are small stickers, but this thing is just completely covered with stickers. If you don't like stickers, stay away from this set. <laughs> and um, if you um, play, it, play it with it like from the back, like play with these buildings, you can see the Technic, um, like the Technic. Like, yeah, I think that's just kind of the, the structure of the building. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely visible. It can be a little bit ugly, but... Like I said, it's, there's just so much going on. It's just a total uh, overwhelming mess of <laughs> color and uh, chaos. Really. As far as the pros go for me, I, I think it is a good thing that it's, it's just so unique. There's so much color, there's so much going on. I think the minifigures are pretty cool, I guess. They're a little bit, uh, they're a little bit generic, I think, but some of them are cool. Uh, there's some good uh, new molds that you see there, and I think that they would be fun to play with with this set. I really like some of the building techniques. It was a fun build. I did enjoy putting it together, the half that I did. But yeah, I think uh, if, if you're not a fan of Monkey Kid, you might have a, a hard time with this one, and I, I don't really know why you would buy it if you're not a fan of Monkey Kid, unless you're building the Rebrickable model like I am. Uh, Jackson, this one retails for $149 in the United States. Are you going to buy it, Pass? Wait for a sale? Buy it. Are you? Unless you don't like stickers. You're going to buy this one? Yeah, I like this one. Oh, man. I'm going to pass on this one. I'm not going to spend $150 on this set for a Monkey Kid set. I'm not a fan of Monkey Kid. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Uh, so I'm going to pass. If you're a fan of Monkey Kid, you probably should own this one. It's a, it's a cool set if you're a fan of the genre. Uh, I make, like I said, I bought it for the rebrickable version of the gas station. Uh, we will do a review on that one as soon as we build it. Uh, but for this set as a whole, um, I'm going to pass on it. I'm, I'm not going to buy this one, which is rare for me. It's rare that I pass yeah. on set. Yeah, it's really rare. It's like... It's just not a, it's not a genre that I'm interested in. I don't intend to buy more Monkey Kid sets. <laughs> so, um, But it was a fun build, and I think if you're a fan of the genre, you will enjoy this set. And it probably would be worth the $150 price tag. All right, let us know in the comments below if you guys love Monkey Kid. If you guys love it and want to see more reviews, we'll buy more and we'll do reviews on them. I mean, like I said, it was a, it was a fun set to build. So I wouldn't mind building more if it's something that our viewers are interested in. But there it is, the City of Lanterns from Monkey Kid. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? 
Be sure to comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on cooking.